What can you automate in your business? That is a solid question, my friend, because it means that you're on the right track here. This is because, as I'm sure you've noticed, your business can very much turn into a trap that has you chained to your desk or to your business for long, long hours, and automating your business is the really the only way out. That's why here, you're not only gonna find out what you can automate in your business, but you'll also discover the three different ways that you can streamline and automate your business. I'll also show you how you can gain access to over $187 worth of business training too. That's a whole lot planned for you ahead, my friend. And it all starts with what you can automate in your business. All right, now, if this is your first time here, I am Jeff from 10tononline.com, welcome. Now here, it's all about escaping the grind, building a fulfilling online business, and launching a better tomorrow. Now, before we really get moving, before we really get rolling, because I know that this thing called your business feels complex and overwhelming, there's a lot of moving parts. Throw in your marketing, throw in your product development, and more, and things quickly spiral out of control. That's why I put together for you a free online business jumpstart guide. This is your free, easy to follow, downloadable, printable PDF guide that gives you a solid foundation, a solid blueprint for you and your business endeavors. Packed with powerful action steps that you can take right away to get you on track and loaded with valuable tools and resources. Go and grab your free guide right now while you can over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. All right, now what can you automate in your business? Well, the answer to this question is very, very simple. Check this out. My friend, you can automate in your business any task that does not require you personally, you specifically to perform that task. Now, that is the straight simple answer, but to fully understand what we're talking about here and understand what I mean here, we've got to get clear on automation, on systems, how they work, what they do, and how practically every new business owner traps themselves in their business, sending them on a one-way trip to the proverbial business hell. And so here it's all about how you can carefully and intentionally set up your business to run on its own in an automated way as much as possible. Sound like a plan? I hope so. Now, what I'm gonna do here, we have to start at the beginning, so I'm gonna dial back just a little bit to start us off here, understand that there are just three types of people who make the leap into business initially, who go into business for themselves. We've got newbies, we've got technicians, and we've got true entrepreneurs. And you'll see how this all relates back to automation in your business in just a minute. First though, both newbies and technicians leap into business with what is referred to as an idea first approach. They believe that the thing that the business sells is what's most important. This is why these types of new business owners are obsessed with producing the absolute best quality product or service. Now here, you and I don't have enough time to really dig into all the details here, but I will say this. All of us, and I mean every single person who takes the plunge into business starts here, we all do. My friend, consider it a rite of passage. We all start in business either as a newbie or as a technician. And the cold, direct truth is that newbies and technicians own a job, not a business or systems or automation. Now, this may ruffle some feathers, maybe this upsets you a little bit, maybe it's difficult to hear, but it is the truth. Newbies and technicians own jobs, self-created jobs. And it's important to know and understand this as you develop, as you grow as an entrepreneur. Man, just look around you. Most business owners, most freelancers, and most consultants are so busy working in their business that they have no time, no energy, no gas left in the tank to work on their business. This ties directly back to most people trapping themselves in their business. These sorts of folks are run ragged. They are constantly under stress and many are very quickly or maybe very slowly burning out. And this is because my friend, they personally are doing many, many, if not all of the tasks in their business. Now, earlier on, I said that you can and that you really should automate 
any task in your business that does not require you personally, you specifically to perform that task. And again, this is like a rite of passage for us entrepreneur types. Learn this, understand what I'm talking about here, internalize this, and what happens is you graduate to the third kind of person who runs a business, a true entrepreneur. Check this out, the single most important defining characteristic between newbies, technicians, and true entrepreneurs is systems and automation. Recall from just a moment ago, I said that the straight truth was that newbies and technicians have created jobs for themselves, right? These types of business owners own a job, not necessarily a business. And alternatively, true entrepreneurs own systems. Systems automate your business, freeing you up so that you aren't a slave to your business, so that you aren't tied or chained to your desk all the time working in your business. The reality is, the truth of the matter is, true entrepreneurs can work as much or as little in their business as they want because the business does not require them to be there all the time. Think about it. I mean, this is, should be self-evident. Imagine a freelancer or any kind of consultant or any kind of one man or one woman business operation. Who creates the products? Who performs the service? Who sweeps the floors? Who empties the trash can? Who handles the bookkeeping? They do, right? They do everything because again, they're so busy working in their business, performing all of the daily tasks that they have no time or energy for anything else. Hence why most business owners are stressed out and run ragged and very, very quickly, as I said a moment ago, burning out. My friend, I said it before and I will say it again. The biggest difference between technicians and true entrepreneurs is systems and automation. Listen, systems destroy an immovable barrier that restricts most people's ability to earn a higher and higher income, including employees, including technicians, and that immovable barrier is time. I'll repeat that for you because it is so vitally important to understand. Systems and automation destroy the immovable barrier of time. A dude running a hot dog cart outside of a sports stadium is limited by time. A consultant, a freelancer, a pool installer, or a business owner of any other kind is restricted by time. Practically all businesses that you could possibly imagine have trapped their founder in a cage comprised of time. So for you, most crucially, systems free your time. Systems driven businesses are not tied to a clock or to any other related restrictions. With systems in place, your business is no longer dependent on you. With systems in place, you are no longer performing all of the tasks in your business by yourself. This frees you as the business owner, as the entrepreneur, and just as importantly, it frees your business from constraints and limitations, allowing your business to scale. And this is absolutely crucial for you to understand as you grow, as you develop as an entrepreneur. Said another way, my friend, your business cannot scale if you are the one performing all the regular daily tasks in your business. So specifically, what true entrepreneurs do is they build, optimize, and own systems-driven businesses that provide value to their customers again and again. Walk into any McDonald's, order a Big Mac combo, and watch in amazement before your very eyes as a series of systems spring into action to quickly and efficiently serve you the customer. This is exactly what we want to build and put into place for you in your business. That's because most people who leap into business, again, I've said this a whole pile of times here, but most people who leap into business inadvertently trap themselves. They trap themselves inside a self-created job that has very, very long hours and low pay, and we do not want that happening to you. Systems free you from the cage that your business will otherwise become. All right, now you know the power of leveraging systems in your business. You know that you wanna build them into your business, but where do you even start? And how can we make much more sense of what I said way, way back at the beginning, which was you can automate any task in your business that does not require you 
personally to perform the task. To use McDonald's analogy one more time, way, way back in the day, Ray Kroc was not the guy taking customer orders or flipping burgers. So how can we get you started with systems in your business? Well, to do that, we need to get much more granular. As a matter of fact, there are no less than three types of systems that you can leverage in your business. I'm gonna give you a solid understanding of exactly how all of this works in just a second. First though, if you are looking to get serious about your business, if you wanna get things moving on the right track and really get moving down that right track, then here's what to do. Get yourself over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. Now there you'll find a free online business workshop. This is a totally self-paced, completely free online workshop. Here, you're gonna get a proven roadmap that shows you the exact steps that you need to take to get your ideas off the ground and happening so that you can move forward with clarity and certainty. Your free workshop will help you to understand the business ropes and the basics of business, even if you're brand new to all this stuff. So starting out right off the bat, we want you headed down the road to becoming a true entrepreneur, avoiding all the traps and common pitfalls that the aforementioned newbies and technicians fall into. Your workshop will show you how to minimize your risk and maximize your results. Whether you already have a great idea for a business or maybe if you're not really sure what you want to sell or what kind of business you want to start. You will need one functioning pen. You will need one functioning notebook. You will need one caffeinated beverage. You definitely don't want to miss your workshop. Okay, next though, how can you get started with all this stuff? How can you get started with systems in your business? Well, as I mentioned just a moment ago, there are just three specific types of systems that you can leverage and put in place in your business. So let's get granular here. Systems as defined, as outlined in Tim Ferriss's must read four hour work week mean three things. Automation, delegation, and elimination. Automation, delegation, and elimination. Check this out. Automation means mechanizing repetitive business tasks using dependable, repeatable procedures and steps. Typically and my friend, this is so basic that you may even scoff at it at first, but typically mechanizing repetitive tasks means writing out literally step by step the steps needed to be taken to complete a specific task in your business. So here, what you need to do is you'll have to look at all of the regular tasks that are performed in your business. Every business is different, so you're gonna have unique tasks that are unique to your business but it applies to every kind of business, whether you're running an e-commerce website or some kind of membership website of some kind, maybe a bagel shop, whatever else. There's a specific set of tasks that you need to perform again and again and again. So what I want you to do here is I want you to make a list of all of the tasks that are regularly performed in your business. And then the second thing I want you to do is I want you to develop step-by-step -step procedural documents for each task. Again, you may be scoffing at this going, I got to write out step-by-step -step how to fulfill orders or how to place an order for more inventory. You're telling me you want me to, yes, write it all out. If you're scoffing at this, if you think this is silly or stupid, you are probably also feeling very overworked and very burnt out in your business. Do this, my friend. Trust me, it is a game changer. I'll tell you, tasks in my business that used to take me an entire morning now take me less than 20 minutes. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because now I'm no longer going from memory, or I'm no longer having to consciously process anything or make any decisions or anything like this. All the decisions, all the processing has already been done. So now you just follow the steps. Okay, after automation, we have delegation. Delegation means enlisting others to handle tasks in your business for you. Now, you and I, we need a little bit more detail here. First off, I can hear you now. I can hear you saying, but Jeff, I cannot afford to hire anyone. I can't afford to bring on employees or freelancers or anyone like that. Awesome, that is great. You know what, don't sweat it. Again, we all start, all of us business owners start at the same spot. We all start here being unable to afford to hire out or bring in freelancers or hire employees or anything like this. But what you can do right now is you can carefully structure your business so that when the time is right, hiring others will be seamless. So let's get into some specifics for you. First, understand that there are only two types of tasks in your business, tasks that 
only you can perform and tasks that anyone can perform. Only Ray Kroc could run McDonald's, but anybody could take customer orders or flip burgers, right? Or here's another quick example for you. Because me and my personality are such a huge part of my business, only I can make content like this. Only I can create my online courses and info products. Only I can write the emails that I send out. However, my business does not require me personally to edit videos. Anybody can edit my videos. I am not needed to handle my monthly bookkeeping. In fact, most of the tasks in my business do not need to be performed by me personally. And I know the same holds true for you and for your business. In your business, there may be only just a few specific tasks that you and only you can perform, or maybe you've even built the kind of business that doesn't need you personally at all. Lucky you. So remember the list of regular recurring tasks that I had you make earlier on? Pull out that list and circle the tasks that you and only you can perform and plan at some point in the future to outsource all remaining tasks. For both sets of tasks, again, tasks that only you can perform and tasks that anybody can perform, create those procedural step-by-step -step documents that we talked about earlier. And if you're in a position, if you're in a situation where you can't afford to hire anyone just yet to take on these tasks, no problem. During this time, you'll be the one following your procedures that you've developed. And by the way, as a quick side note, as you're the one following the procedures that you created, you will naturally start optimizing them and making them even more streamlined. But in time, as your business grows and develops, when you're ready to start offloading these non-you specific tasks to hired employees or to freelancers, start outsourcing and offloading some of this stuff, all you do is you hand them that procedural document for that specific task and you say, I want it done like this, follow the steps, I'll be checking your work. Not bad, huh? See again, this is the difference between technicians and true entrepreneurs. Remember, technicians believe that if you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. No wonder technicians are burning out. No wonder technicians are bogged down and overloaded with non-mission critical tasks in their business that they could easily offload to anyone else that practically any other human being with a functioning brain could handle. Do you see now, my friend, why so many small business owners are stressed out and overworked and again, I've said this a number of times, rapidly burning out. They have trapped themselves in their business. It's this belief that they have to do everything in their business. If you've ever worked for a small business before, maybe like a mom and pop shop, if you've ever gone into a coffee shop or a pizza place, we've all <laughs> done these sorts of things, right? You know exactly what I'm talking about here. Just take a look at what's going on around you. And now, of course, you know better. The ultimate goal here for you, my friend, is to eventually offload every single task in your business that does not require you personally to handle that task. Make sense? Awesome. Okay, great. We still have, don't forget, one more component to systems in your business. We've talked about automation. We've talked about delegation at length. Next is elimination. Elimination means ceasing and desisting and stopping <laughs> all other non-productive busy work in your business. This means cutting things out like useless non-productive meetings, networking events, and useless non-productive paper shuffling, chasing after low producing customers, redesigning your logo for the third time this week, and anything else that has little to no impact on what matters most in your business, sales. See, if there's one thing that is absolutely true it's that us entrepreneur types and business types are professional overcomplicators. And we are also professional busy workers. No, reorganizing your home office will not bring in more sales. No, a new fancy schmancy business card will not bring in more sales either. And no, meeting with your entrepreneur business friend for coffee won't bring in more sales either. But you know what will bring in more sales? Bringing in more pre-qualified sales leads. But that is a topic for another day. In the meantime, eliminate any and all non-productive tasks in your business that are not oriented towards the one thing that matters most, sales. I'm telling you, if you take what we're talking about here seriously, if you seriously automate, delegate, and eliminate, you will easily shave 
hours and hours off of your work week, freeing you from the trap that would be, would otherwise be your business. So look at your business and figure out what can be automated, delegated, and of course, eliminated. That is exactly what you can automate in your business. Now next, let's get the right plan of action into place for you. It all starts in your online business workshop over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. I'll see you over there next.